In this video, I'm going to compare two Outliner software. On one side, we have Dynalist, and on the other one, Workflowy. Hey everyone, Matt Giaro here, and on this channel, I help content creators create a business around their passion and their expertise. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So with that being said, Outliner software are a great way to uh, basically sort out and knock out your ideas. And it is a tool basically that I'm using almost every day. So with that being said, there are two popular um, softwares out there, one called Dynalist and the other Workflowy. And in this video, I'm going to compare with you the different features and also we are talking we are going to talk about the pricing so that you can make the right choice when it comes to picking up your uh, your solution so with that being said what I wanted to dig into uh, before talking about basically the different features because both uh, both softwares are basically um, great great solutions when it comes to just outlining your uh, basically your ideas your documents uh, your content so um, of course one of the biggest um, um, like one of the biggest concerns will be basically the pricing. So if we go on to uh, to Dynalist first, let's just talk about the pricing and what we have here. So Dynalist, they, um, as you see, they have a free plan which costs is obviously free and uh, as you see um, what I really like about their free plan is that as you see you have unlimited items and documents and this is uh, really um, like one of the of the best things um, when it comes to having like a free plan with everything unlimited right as you see when it comes to workflow you are limited to 250 nodes or 250 items um, that you can add inside your node and uh, and yeah this is this is quite limiting and, and to be honest if you are a daily user like me, um, you probably have to go to the pro version. And the pro version, when it comes to Workflowy, is um, around four bucks or five bucks per month. So yeah, um, to be honest, and even even like like no, like like if you go to their to their homepage, like you even don't have any pricing kind of uh, kind of um, um, link, which is which is kind of, of, of weird. But anyways, so with that being said, um, and uh, yeah, basically you have all the features that you need when it comes to to Dynalist. And uh, yeah, why would you so basically pay for Dynalist? Because like it has like some integration, as you see with Google Calendar, if you're using that. Uh, capture to inbox which is a feature as you see um, you can just uh, capture it like uh, uh, from anywhere and uh, yeah daily backup to Dropbox and Google Drive is also very very useful um, when it comes to the pro membership on Workflow you see that you have the backup option to, to Dropbox only and not to Google Drive so if you are a Google Drive user well then you have to, to basically sign up to Dropbox okay and uh, yeah and then of course uh, for both paid versions you have like theme Teams and funds and, and all the other kind of stuff. So basically, what for me makes the big difference is to be honest, the unlimited list, um, which you have on a free plan on Dynalist and not on uh, on the free plan on on Workflowy, right? And uh, yeah. So with that being said, um, don't don't forget when it comes to the backup, um, it's just like the automatic feature, right? But you can of course export your data at any point uh, in both of those softwares so with that being said what i want you to do right now is basically jump in uh, straight into those softwares to see exactly how how they actually work so um, one of the main difference that you have between uh, Dynalist and Workflow is how basically everything is structured. So what you can see here uh, on Dynalist, you have you can basically create folders and you can create files here, right? And and how it works on Workflow is that you have one specific node and you can just add nodes. So there there is no folder kind of structure, which um, like it's it's just based on, on your preference, right? But uh, yeah, this is something that you so if you are um, like um, just familiar with working with let's say with folders um, then uh, yeah you're, you're probably going to prefer uh, Dynalist rather than Workflowy. So with that being said, when it comes to the documents, as you see, the options that you have between both of those um, of those softwares are pretty similar. The only thing that I really like here in Dynalist is, as you can see, you can, as an example here, add some background color, right, which you can not 
um, make on, on, on Workflow. So Workflow doesn't have this option, right? So this, um, of course, you don't want to do it like that, but basically it could be um, quite interesting if you work a lot, a lot with colors um, to just use this feature. To be honest, when I was using Dynalist, right now I'm not, but um, yeah, I was uh, basically uh, using it um, all the time. Um, so especially when I'm, when I'm laying out a course here or something like this, then uh, yeah, um, like working with colors, um, I really like it. And I also feel like the design of, of, of Dynalist is pretty neat and clean. But what is the thing that made me basically switch um, and just quit a Dynalist um, as, uh, as the time that, as I'm recording this? Um, you're going to see that in just a few. But here is the thing, when it comes to um, to work for you see it's very simplistic very minimalist and uh, yeah to be honest it it, it it works great the only thing as, as you see you don't have um, all those different uh, color features and so on and so forth so it may be um, something interesting um, if you're just looking for something that that's neat and clean so as you see here we have also something very interesting that they just added I guess two weeks ago by the time of this recording is that you can right now include images inside um, inside workflow -y, okay so this feature you don't have it um, uh, with Dynalist by the time I'm recording this so this is uh, pretty useful uh, especially let's say if you are um, mapping out some something and you just want to add let's say screenshots or some ideas let's say if you're laying out for as an example a design um, let's say a logo design um, and then you just want to put in some files well the, here here the, um, the the fact that you can add images is very very handy very interesting also um, what workflow we has and Dynalist don't is that you can just switch to a kind of uh, a Trello kind of view to be honest I'm not using this feature I was never like I never liked how Trello works um, so I, I always try to because like so many people are using Trello and they think that's great for keep staying organized and so on and so forth for me I just tried 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 for so many so many years and, and, and never was able to to figure it out but anyways like you have this this board feature here um, that you don't have when it comes uh, to a uh, dineless foot but for me it's not a big deal because anyways I'm not I'm not using it the other thing that Workflow has and Dynalist uh, doesn't is that, as you see here, you have an option to make it here as a template. So you can just then insert a template in any other kind of node. The other interesting feature that they also added just a few days ago um, is that you, you that you'll able, be, for example, to mirror a specific kind of node. So let's say here I have let's say uh, a template. Let's say with a. B, C. I can just go to another node here. I'm sorry just for the log keeping popping in. Um, yeah. So anyways, so um, as you see here, um, here inside test, I have um, I have like nodes here and I can just go to another node and let's just let's just rename this and let's say YouTube video. YouTube video. And then what, I, what you can see here, I can just put here any node to mirror and what I want to mirror is basically the test node here. And as you see, as you see here, I have directly um, like the same node that I, that I have here is just mirroring here inside, which can be pretty interesting um, regarding if let, let's say if you have like some, if you're working like me on, let's say on, on courses, and then you have, let's say one content in one node, and in, then you just want to mirror this pretty, pr pretty awesome feature. The feature I wanted to talk about is the creating this, uh, this template here. So let's just create, let's say a content template. Okay. And let's just put, let's say, attention, interest, desire, action, as an example. And then let's just go here and then just make it a template. And then I can just use this. And then I can go, let's say, create a new node. And here is like like my new my new new YouTube video. I just paste the this here. And then if I just click on that, you see it automatically created a content template and I just have to fill it out. So this can be pretty interesting if you're working a lot with templates um, or you can just use uh, basically the like the, the um, like the standard way to do it. As an example, you just create a node with uh, with a template and then you just duplicate the, the template. Uh, as an example, for you can you see here, I have the template here. I can just, as you see, duplicate it and it makes exactly the same job. So it's, it's up to you on how on how do you want to to use it and you see right now here I'm on the free plan and as you see I already used 
too much uh, like too much items and uh, yeah i'm limited which is, which is to be honest like it forces you just to to, to upgrade okay so uh, yeah you don't have this issue with dyna list but uh, yeah you see the, the limitations are uh, aren't the same and yeah and the functions are slightly different so it really depends on how do you want to use it and what i really don't like about dyna list um, is basically their mobile app and uh, yeah for for that i have to basically to give the point to workflow because um, their mobile app uh, works uh, works pretty good i would obviously especially if I'm a, I'm a paying customer I would also like to have like more features like integration with shortcuts being able to add directly for example um, like um, if I have an idea I'll, right now I still have to go inside the node and then just find the node and then just record their idea which doesn't it doesn't make it really really like um, intuitive and uh, being able to to just knock out quickly my ideas and this is why I, I send a message to them uh, to the help desk and ask uh, if they have like any any plan to integrate it for example with shortcuts uh, on iOS and they said that maybe probably in the future they, they will do something like this but uh, yeah but anyways you doesn't have, you don't have this feature also with Dynalist so yeah this is just a trade-off when it comes to working with uh, this uh, kind of softwares so yeah with that being said um, yeah if if you appreciate this video please give it a th thumbs up and yeah with that being said i see you guys inside the next video